This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Domain.com. So the new version of Ubuntu just released a couple weeks ago, so I downloaded it, the ISO and I decided to check it out. I didn't actually install it on my computer just yet because I just wanted to review it. I did put it on this USB flash drive right here and used UNet Booten, of course. So my first thoughts. Unity, it's been improved but and the dash is a lot cleaner, but they could still use a few upgrades. They did a few things that I do like and a few things that I personally don't. So first off, Unity. The left side app launcher is still there and they cleaned up the buttons a little bit. It's a lot easier for newer light users of Ubuntu as well as more stable. So I do agree with the changes that they made to the actual app launcher. The Ubuntu icon button, it's been moved into the dock up here. So it's a lot easier to find it and it's cleaned up the top menu a little bit. The top menu has been reorganized, which advanced users might not be too happy about. I don't mind it as much because it did make it really easy to find everything and the desktop menu at the top can now be hidden like that. So I, I like it and when you hover over it, it gives you all of the obvious, the file, edit, etc., the help button of course. Now for this thing called the dash, this I kind of had a problem with. This home screen, it's still covered with gigantic icons and Firefox and Thunderbird are the internet and email browsers of choice instead of using Evolution. The dash is cleaner and it's nicely consolidated and now you can minimize and maximize the window where the dash is found just by going up to the corner. So you can do that and you can have you know extra windows over here in the corner. It's kind of useful that they added in that little piece. There is a bottom switcher now with a new music button and it has a collection menu that works with Banshee. So that's pretty useful for anybody who really likes to use Banshee. The advanced filtering features have also been improved as well. So you can go over here and hit filter results and you have plenty of advanced features that you can filter with. Once you start using it a lot, the apps menu on the dash will include the most frequently used option and you may see multiple of the same icon for different kind of entries for the same app in the three different options. So for example, if I used the archive manager option quite a bit, I would see that up at the top under my most frequently used. I would also see it under installed and then down at apps available for download, of, I of course would see a bunch of new different kinds of stuff. Now, the Ubuntu Software Center has also been updated with a new interface and one of my least favorite things, the GNOME login screen has been replaced with a light DM interface and the GNOME desktop environment that I totally love is no longer a default choice. It's still available in the repositories though. So overall, I do like the upgrades that the team has made for the Unity interface, but why take away GNOME? I don't understand that. It's like having my options taken away because, okay, I don't always want to use the same thing. I don't know about you guys, but I personally like to have my options. So what do you guys think of the new Ubuntu? Have you upgraded yet? Email me over at feedback at hack5.org and let me know what you think. Coming up soon, we'll be answering your viewer questions, but first, let's take a break and then check in with Darren for the nibble. All right, let's get the show done. All right, let's get the show done. What? What? Stop copying me. Stop copying me. Um, what's mine? Oh, what's mine? I'm registering you can't copy this.com. I'm registering you can't copy this.com. Ha. Ha. Wait. <laughs> Not fair. What do you mean? Your Wi Fi is faster than mine. It's the same chip. <clears throat> I even had time to use coupon code HACK5 and save 15% at Domain.com. 
All right. So let's get the show done now. All right. Let's get the show done now. If you're setting up a website to show off pictures of your cat, start a new business, or annoy Shannon Morris, Domain.com is the best place to buy a domain for your new idea. Their hassle-free checkout process makes it easy to find the perfect domain and get up and running in minutes. Whether you're looking for a .com or a suite.co, Domain.com's domain discovery system quickly shows you available names and makes it simple to find the name that's right for you. Transfers to Domain.com are only $7.61, so bring your existing domain over and get an extra year free. Hack5 fans get 15% off domain purchases and transfers when they use the coupon code HAK5. Remember, when you think domain names, think domain.com. It's time once again for the nibble, and this one was sent in by Oliver at hack5.org slash nibble. He writes, you need to make a quick scan of your local network to see what devices are online. Simply do this. For I in squiggly one dot dot two five four squiggly semicolon do ping, and in our case, 10.73.31 dot dollar I, See what we just did there? Uh huh. And then he's got attack C1 and attack W1. He likes to pass that to grep and look for ICMP underscore rec equals one. And then uh, just uh, close your quotation marks, semicolon, done. Call it a day. Now, of course, I do this and my ping replies don't have an ICMP underscore rec equals one. So I'd have to do something like come down here and change this to, I don't know, zero uh, percent because I know 0% packet loss, and I, I guess I'd need a TAC B1 to get the IP in there. And uh, there we go, I can start seeing that, you know, oh, well now I've got 100% because there's a zero at the end of 100. Anyway, you get the idea though, the, the principle here is for I in squiggly one dot dot two five four, we can pass that as our dollar I. Again, in our ping command, he even likes to do this for DNS, where he basically takes the same principle and then passes it to NS lookup with his IP address with the last octet being a dollar I, and then grep that to name. How fantastic is that? It's bash, people. Let's bash it up. You got some bash tips? Send them over to hack5.org slash nibble. We'll be back here in just a bit. <laughs>